a function called turbocharge. Whoa. Which takes in an auto Wait, what? and yeah. gives you back. Well, right now I'm just giving you the problem statement, but if you, if you think you can start filling this in already, you can, you can jump right ahead. Write a function called turbocharge that takes in an auto and gives you back an auto. You, so you drive your car to the dealer, get turbocharged, what do they give you back? A car. So, it's taking in an auto, it's giving you back an auto, but it's changing something. The auto that drives out of the shop has 20 more horsepower. Twenty more horsepower. So, just do the contract in purpose. Raise your hand when you're done. Course staff, please tell me when everyone has gotten it right. So, what do you think you have to give to Terminal Charge? What do you think you have to give back now? But is that what does it do to the together as a class, and then you guys are going to write down two different examples. So please do not write what I'm about to put. Okay. Can someone give me an example of how the user would type, or how, how, the, how the a user would use TurboCharge? What do I write here? Only one person knows? Show me your hands if you know what you'd write here.
So if I drive into the auto body shop with this auto, what, is, what am I going to drive out with? What do I get back? I get back an auto. And uh, Paul, how do I make an auto? What function makes an auto? Make auto. So what I'm going to get back is make auto. Okay. What do you think, Jacob? Well, tell you what, if I drive in with an Eclipse and I get it turbocharged, am I going to drive out with a Prius? No. 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 What am no. I going to drive out with? What? It's still an Eclipse, right? An Eclipse with 20 more horsepower. Exactly, exactly. So, I'd better get back an Eclipse. Uh, and what should my new horsepower be? 320. 320. And how do I get that? How do I get 320? How do I go 300 to 320? Yeah. Plus 320. What about the rims? Have they changed? No. What about the color? Has that changed? Color same. Same. What about the cost? Has that changed? Yeah, same thing. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's this material is hard, but it's, it's a lot. I'm sorry to have a lot of hard time getting over to talk. So this is one example. Let's do another example before you write anything down. Can you know the cost change because of my horsepower? If you want, you could up the car. We could say that it raises the value of the car. You could do that. Let me do another example. So, example. Now, because I'm lazy, I'm going to use car one. I don't want to have to rewrite the whole darn thing. Um, What's the first thing I write after this parenthesis? Without even thinking. Turbo charge. How do I know that? Contract. So, I want to do a turbo charge. Car one. And I'm going to drive out with an auto, right? This is another way to, do, to, do, to deal with structs, and this is what I'd like you to use for this exercise. I know I have to drive out with an auto, so how do I make an auto? Make auto. Make auto. Right, that's how you make an auto, but you make auto. And here's the new bit. How many things are in an auto? Remember how many, we have the, the model, five things? Okay, without even thinking, I know since there are five things in my auto, two, three, four, five, I just know I need to have five things. I know that for a fact, right? As long as I'm making an auto, I'm going to have five things. What's the first thing in an auto? Auto. The model. Okay. Is the, the model of car one going to change? No. No. How do I get the model out of an auto? auto. Not make auto. auto. Auto model. So I want to get the, the auto model out of car one, right? Because the model shouldn't change. What's the next thing in an auto? Horse, horsepower? How do I get the horsepower out of a model? Auto. Auto horsepower. Car one. What's the next thing in an auto? Rims. How do I get the rims out of an auto? Auto rims. What's the next thing in an auto? Auto color. How do I get the color out of an auto? Auto color. Auto cost. Auto cost. And then auto cost. <laughs> auto cost. <laughs> OMG. Car one. Okay. So right now, I drove in with car one, and I'm driving out with a car that's got the same model, same horsepower, same rim, same color, same cost. Is that is that exactly right? Yes. What what should have changed? The horsepower. The horsepower. So what I really want to do. 
How do I add 20 to my horsepower here? Uh, plus one. Jakai, add 20 to my horsepower on the board. Fix my code. No, you don't. Close your clean. Come on. How would I add 20 to the horsepower? charge car one, I get back an auto with the model of car one, with 20 added to the horsepower of car one, with the rims of car one, with the color of car one, and with the cost of car one. Yes. Paul, you suggested that car one should be made more valuable once we've uh, added some horsepower. How much value does it add to the car? Um, how much? Like the amount of um, you pay for one more uh, horsepower? So how much? I mean, give me a number. I drive in, I get 20 extra horsepower back. How much more is it worth? It's worth 700 more? Jakai, how would I add 700 to the cost of car one? What code would he, would he write to add 700 to the cost of car one? Do it. You can use what we did for horsepower as an example. 700. volunteering. All right, so what I want you guys to do is on your examples, I want you to do one example with instead of car one, use car two. 